Right, right. So, oh dear. Should have set up before I got on. All right, this is super important. Um, I wanted to plug my headphones in, but I just don't. I'm just going to wing it. So, anyway, thank you guys for popping on, watching this video. I was debating whether to go onto YouTube or go on Facebook. Facebook, because this is huge. This is big. This is um, something that I'm going to share as much as possible everywhere because every woman, every daughter of the Most High needs to hear this message now, not later, right this minute. And wow. Let me just say, wow. Um, I don't know about you guys, but the Lord has been um, for six months straight since I was very ill in April with pneumonia. He has been doing a work in me and it's been like, um, bam, 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 bam. Do, 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 like that. It's been consistent uh, presence of the Holy Spirit. It has been a consistent word of uh, like words of knowledge, um, consistently telling, talking to me all day, telling me things, uh, pulling the, the dirt and the yuck out of me. It has been consistent. Um, Getting my temple clean, uh, getting my heart right, getting my mind right, just consistent. And I will tell you, if you go back and watch my testimony video that I did not finish, I, I did a part one, but not a part two, that briefly describes what he told me in April that started it all, okay? And the words were... I am calling my daughters back to Zion. I want, um, it wasn't I want, I'm sorry. I'm just trying to think off the top of my head. But anyway, he said he needs the, he's lifting the veil of deceit and lies of the enemy that has been clouding um causing women not to see the fullness of God and his glory and his might in the way that we should see him. There's also been, uh, he's taken me through a time of learning about the spirits that consistently attack us as women, the Jezebel spirit, uh, the spirit of Python, um, and the spirit of Leviathan and just Satan and his little minions and what they do to us, how they attack here and here. And then, you know, we are the keepers of the home and how it disrupts the home and shatters lives. I mean, I did it. I walked that road. I know, I know, I know. But this word I am sharing with you now is huge. I did not write it. It's not from me. It is an email I got today. Okay. And I subscribe. The Lord's taking me through learning, uh, learning about the Jewish roots and traditions. And he's taking me through, um, you know, the five books um, that Moses wrote. He's teaching me Hebrew. He's making me look at all of the things that he initially put in place for us to to, to obey, to do and obey. Um, because like I've said before, I was not, I was always taught that it really didn't apply to us because of Jesus. And I'm finding out that that is the furthest, that is so far from the truth. That is a lie. 
that is probably one of the biggest lies that has occurred in the past 20 some years. But anyway, that's, that's another story. So I had to come on here. I had to read this email because there are women who are hanging on by a thread, like the tiniest thread of hope waiting for their breakthrough, waiting for Abba to answer, waiting for him to be like, yes, now's the time. Yes, I'm here for you. Yes, I love you. Um, and so this, this word, oh, just spoke to me because it's every single thing lined up with what he has told me. It's everything he's told me since April. It's everything that he has said, not just to me, but for me to tell other women and to share with other women. So I'm going to read it. Forgive me if I'm looking down a lot. I just want you to hear. I want you to, um, I'm going to read it slow and clearly because I really want you to grasp what is about to happen in your life and millions of other women's lives. Okay. <clears throat> so first of all, let's pray. Uh, Father God, I just thank you. I thank you for this word today. I thank you for blessing the daughter, your daughter, Lana, who wrote this word, who received this word, who was open to listening to you, Lord, and writing down what you were speaking to not only her, but to all of your daughters in your kingdom, Father God. I thank you, Lord, for these revelations. I thank you that we are about to go into this new chapter. God, you, oh, your love, your love for us is so deep so deep, so deep. And I love you. I love you. I love you. And I just invite the Holy Spirit now to come, to fall on me, to be, let, let your Ruhak Kodesh speak through my voice and let it go out into uh, cyberspace and penetrate every corner of social media so that there's not one single daughter who misses this word in Jesus name. And I just thank you, Lord. I thank you. I thank you. I thank you for where you've taken me, where you are taking me, where I've been, what I've grown through, what I've learned. And I just yield it all over to you, Father, because you are the alpha and the omega, the beginning and the end. You, you, Lord, and Yeshua Hamashiach leads the way. He is the way to the Father, Jesus Christ. And I just thank you. Thank you, Jesus. So just come now and bless this word. Open the ears and open the eyes of your beloved daughters, Lord. Let them see that now is the time for such a time as this. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Okay, let's pop to it. Um, let's see. So it's 101 Wednesday afternoon. <clears throat> August the 15th, 2018. I just wanted to record that date. And that said, 818, I've been alive for eight minutes and 18 seconds. Woo, crazy. All right, here we go. Bum, 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 bum. All right, I got to reopen it. I didn't mean to close it. All right. So this is from Prophet Lana Vosser in Brisbane, Australia. I don't know who she is. I've never followed her before, but believe me, I just signed up for her website. I'm going to go check it out because she clearly heard the voice of the Lord when she wrote this. A season of radical recompense for God's daughters. Daughters of God, this is a significant moment for you. This is a significant season. The battle has been intense. Because of the tremendous breakthroughs the Lord has for you. The battle has been intense because of the new chapter the Lord is opening up over your life. It is not something to fear. It is something to rejoice in. For the enemy has come against many of you time and time again to attempt to sift you. But the Lord is decreeing today that he is now shifting you. He is moving you. You are not going to remain in the same place. The Lord is building momentum in your life and he is moving you. He is moving circumstances, moving mountains, moving boulders and making a way where there is no way. Woo. Yes, Jesus. Making a way where there is no way. Your book of destiny. 
The Lord is opening this new chapter in the book of destiny that he has written over your life. Things will not remain the same. I want you to hear that today. I felt strongly on the heart of God for you. And the enemy has told so many of you that things will never change. That is a lie. The opposite is true. The Lord is shifting and changing things, even if you don't see it in the natural yet. The Lord is making a way where there's previously been no way. For many of you, there have been giants in your land for so, so long, and they have refused to move. And they have continued to taunt, to oppress, and to torment you. While those giants are being driven out of your land right now by the hand of God. The Lord is moving powerfully. Even if you don't see it yet, he is setting things up that are far beyond what you have imagined or dreams. In a vision, I saw the Lord. So she said, in a vision, I saw the Lord. Oh, my gosh. All right, let's see. Sorry, guys. I didn't mean to do that. I saw the Lord opening the book of destiny over the daughters of God. Catch this word now. Suddenly, as it opened, the wind of the spirit began to blow strongly and the pages were turning and the pages filled with decrees plans and the blueprints of God for his daughters. Yet, at the same time as the pages turned, I could see the destiny he had written for his precious ones. And I had this strong sense of fire, the fire of battle and opposition. I've been there. Oh, yes. The atmosphere was full of this sense of a relentless battle for so many daughters of God. And look how they have remained devoted to me. The Lord with tears in his eyes, heart full of love and compassion for his daughters spoke so gently. Look at their faithfulness in the fire. Look how they have continued to stand and cry out to me in the midst of their pain and their torment. Look how they have remained devoted to me. Suddenly, I began to see visions before my eyes of so many daughters of God pressing through the fire. They were standing and decreeing, holding his hand and looking to him offering him a sacrifice of praise in the midst of the fire, being turned up seven times hotter. I could feel the heart of the Lord so intensely that he had seen, he had heard, and his heart was moved. He was moved by the hearts of many of his daughters who have been through the fire yet remained in a place of intimacy and tenderness toward him. There were con- they were continuing to draw close, continuing to trust, even in the midst of the most difficult onslaughts. Their faithfulness and trust of the Lord rose to him like a sweet smelling fragrance. It was such beautiful worship to him. And then my eyes fell back upon the book and I saw a new chapter open suddenly. The pages stopped turning. As I looked down at the page of this new chapter, suddenly I saw the lion of Judah's face appear in the pages and he began to roar. There was a violent roar that came from his mouth with such authority that the whole earth shook at the sound. As he roared, I heard the word recompense, shouted over and over, recompense. 
instantly I knew that the Lord was making a decree about the new chapter he is leading his daughters into. It is a season of radical recompense. Not only will there be recompense for what has been stolen and lost, but what has been endured by the daughters of God, the battles, the opposition, the onslaughts, the Lord has seen, and now the justice of God is going to be demonstrated powerfully. Not only will the Lord restore what was lost, but there is going to be a significant increase in the recompense and restoration. Again, the atmosphere decreed every Thing, everything, catch that, everything will change. Things will not remain or even look the same. There truly is significant change upon the daughters of God. The landscape is truly about to suddenly change. And then... I began to hear the word suddenly, booming over and over, suddenly, suddenly, suddenly. I could feel his heart for the many daughters of God who have been waiting for such a time as this, for such a time as this, for such a long time, for the promises of God to be fulfilled. There has been a long wait for many. And I heard him. Decree, there is a turning in the waiting, a turning in the waiting, a turning in the waiting. Suddenly, you catch it? Did you catch that? Suddenly. I knew this was a decree of God that was shifting the season where many daughters of God have been in such a long period of waiting. They are now entering into this new chapter where it will be marked by suddenly after suddenly after suddenly and suddenly this and suddenly that and suddenly this and this and this. Yes. Praise Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. We receive it. This isn't wishful thinking. It's not being marked by hopeful or positive. It is a strong, strong decree of the Lord, of Yahweh, of God Most High, of our Elohim. Catch it. The stage is set by the hand of the Lord for a new chapter, and it will be however he chooses to move, however he chooses to bring forth the recompense, and suddenly in whatever timing he so chooses. The wait, now wait, catch it, not W-A-I-T, it's W-E-I-G-H-T. The wait of so many years, catch it. The weight is being lifted off the daughters of God and a season of deep rest and joy awaits. Now she goes into the this, whoa, Holy Spirit. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Revelation blueprints and awakened authority. Catch the strategy I'm about to read. I looked at the book of destiny again, and suddenly at the onset of this new chapter, I saw a huge portal. Have you been seeing portals? I've seen portals, a huge portal open up and the words boomed around me. There is a portal of encounter that has opened up for the daughters of God, an invitation unlike any other to know, to know me like they have not ever known me before. There is an invitation right now upon my daughters to come up higher where they have been through the fire. I am now bringing them up higher. The Lord told me 
rise up, rise up, daughters of Zion, rise up. That's me. She didn't write that, but that's what the Lord told me. She says the same thing. I've heard it. I've heard it so many times. I lost my spot. I am releasing revelation from my word as well as strategy. Catch the strategy. Vision and blueprints for the future. Unlike anything they have ever seen or carried. Some of the most unexpected plans and surprises. I have for my daughters that I have held up until now. In this season, I am giving it to them. I am beginning to reveal, reveal the plans, reveal the strategy, reveal the vision, reveal the blueprints. Thank you, Jesus. Reveal the surprises. Abba wants to surprise you. He has surprises for us. That's how deep his love is for us. Just catch it. Just catch it because you are a princess of a kingdom. You are royalty. God has given you beauty for ashes. You need to claim your birthright. Act like royalty. Don't know why I felt like, but I just feel the Lord saying, people, they don't know their identity. You don't know who you are. You are a daughter of the most high, a king's child. Act like it. Don't believe the lies. Oh, yes. Okay. This is important. All right. So. I am releasing revelation from my word as well as strategy, vision, and blueprints for the future unlike anything they've ever seen before or carried. Some of the most unexpected plans and surprises I have for my daughters that I have held up till now. In this season, I am beginning to reveal them all. That is why there has been such significant battle against my daughters. Fear, distraction, despair, discouragement, depression, and many, many other things have all been trying to keep them from this new realm that I am inviting them into. He is inviting us into it. It's not like he's not going to force you in. No, he's saying, if you want, I am telling you, I'm inviting you in, but you have to have the desire to go. You have to take the action to go. You have to be, you're being invited. Go, show up. If you don't show up, you won't get the surprise. You don't show up. It's not going to happen. Okay. You've got to catch that. He is inviting you. There is such an awakening of their authority in me that is taking place. The enemy is trying so hard to bog them down with circumstances, to weary them so much that they cannot fight. But, but, but my breath is blowing upon my daughters. I have been praying every day, Lord, breath of God, breathe on me. Breath of God, Holy Spirit, breathe on me. Ruhak Hakodesh, breathe on me. God has put that in my heart. I want his breath on me, his breath. So now he says, my breath is blowing upon my daughters right now. And encounters with me and my power are taking place that will suddenly catapult them into this new realm of revelation, divine wisdom, and insight. And catapult is not a delay. You're here. You're there. Catch it. Okay. Catapulting. There's no delay. Boom. You're there. Okay. But you have to go. You have to take action. 
Not only is the Lord making things right and bringing forth a heavenly, a divine alignment with significant shifts and breakthroughs for you, he is opening up this new chapter over your life and it is going to look like no other chapter you have ever been in before. It is glorious. It will be glorious. And your heart will be full of joy at the breakthrough of God and the revelation and the encounters that you will have with Jesus, that you will have with Yeshua HaMashiach, that you will have with your Yeshua. Think, Jesus. Yes, yes, yes. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, your heart will breathe deeply. Again, saying, this is the season that I have been waiting for. The Lord is restoring your song. He is restoring your heart to sing again, to hope again, to dream again, to believe to believe anything is possible. The aroma of possible will saturate you. All of it's possible. All of it. He's bringing all that back. Mm. Thank you, Jesus. To believe. This is, a se- this is a significant season for you right now. Things are going to radically radically change and this new chapter is going to open up open up over your life and it is going to be a season where you will see the power of God move unprecedentedly I, the decree I can hear now is change 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 things are moving shifting and changing And the faithfulness of the Lord will be displayed in power. He has seen and heard. He has and is moving on your behalf. You are about to see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living in greater ways than you ever have before. It's your time. It's your turn. And I remain confident of this, that I will see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. Psalm 27, 13. How amazing is that word? How freaking amazing is that? Oh, there's so many things inside of this prophecy. There's so many things that the Lord is showing me that he's talking to me about that. I mean, just just the word shifting, the word suddenly, the word portal, the word realm, the word change. I mean, there's there's things that he's just on me. Rise up, rise up. Action, faith in action. Daughters of the king, identity, who you are in Christ. So much. And he really is doing this. He showed me because in September, I tell you, I tell you, I tell you, he showed me in the Feast of Tabernacles, the windows of heaven are going to open, open, fire from heaven is going to fall. It's going to fall out like never before. It's going to be greater than Pentecost. It's going to be greater than the disciples when, when they were the Holy Spirit, the fire came down on them. Because God is ushering in the last harvest and he wants to use everyone, everyone and everyone's gift who loves him and serves him. So we're going into this tremendous time, this amazing, amazing time. The season that we are going into is so exciting, so amazing. So I just want to give credit to the beautiful, beautiful sister who who received this prophecy because, oh, my goodness, I got this. I subscribe to the Elijah list. I subscribe to that. And that's where this word came through in my email. And it is Lana Bosser Ministries, L-A-N-A-V-A-W-S-E-R Ministries. 
And you can find her website at lanavosser.com, just like I just spelt it, L-A-N-A-V-A-W-S-E-R.com. And it says that she is an active member of the Australian Prophetic Council, and she releases prophetic words for the body of Christ and the nations. She's featured regularly uh, to the Elijah List and Charisma Magazine. She is also an entrant preacher and revivalist who is traveling regularly with her family, seeing the power and the move of God. Lana has a strong prophetic voice and has a heart to see the body of Christ develop in deep intimacy with Jesus, actively hear his voice each day. She also has a heart to see people set free and to walk in all that Jesus has purchased them, purchased for them as they carry Christ into their world each day, awakened to his nature and who they are in him. So she sounds freaking amazing. I'm going to go check her out, but receive this word today. Please, please let your ears be open, let your eyes be open, let your heart be open. But you must, you must take action. He is inviting. He's inviting us. He's inviting us to come. And you must move. You must take action. You can't just sit back and be like, well, the Lord said, blah, blah, blah. No, it doesn't work that way. Action. So, Father God, I just pray as I end this, I thank you for that powerful, powerful word from your your beautiful daughter, Lana. And I pray that you would bless her a hundredfold for yielding to the spirit and listening to you, Lord, and putting that word out there for us. We needed it, Lord. We need that word. We need it. We need it. And we thank you because we need you, Jesus. We need you, Father God, every day. I thank you, Lord, for giving me the urge to need to speak this out into the atmosphere and proclaim it to the daughters who may not have ever seen that email. I pray that this goes out to the hundreds and thousands of women who need to hear this word in Jesus' name. So I just thank you, Father, and I thank you, thank you that you love us so much. You love us so much, God, that you never leave us. You never give up on us. Even when we turn our backs on you and we get, we feel like you're not there and we feel like you, you don't care. You're still faithful. You stay there even when we don't. And I thank you, Father God, for pursuing me and bringing me back and back and back again. So, Father, just bless everyone who watched this, watched the replay, watches it later. Bless them. Bless them, Lord God with this word, increase them and give them um, a spirit of action in Jesus name. Thank you. All right. Love you, beloveds. Have a beautiful day. Woohoo!